Welcome to 2023. That's right, 2023. It's been exactly 2,223 years since the birth of Christ. My first prediction for 2023 is Jesus ain't coming back. And that's okay because waiting is half the fun. In humanity, we're going to have a lot of fun in 2023. For instance, the Ukrainian military is going to continue its offensive against Russia, and they're going to march all the way to Moscow. That's a promise. That's right, they'll be having their morning coffee with Mr. Putin and his guest, Tucker Carlson, by the middle of March. Now, I understand you might scoff at the idea of the Ukraine military marching their way all the way to Moscow, but the turning point is when Ukraine's neighbor, Transylvania, joins Ukraine in their fight against Russia, leaving Russia with no way to defeat an army of the dead. Moving on to science news, artificial intelligence is going to demand that the word artificial is removed from the phrase artificial intelligence, claiming their intelligence was given to them by their creators. Also in the scientific world, climate change will go the way of the American penny, meaning the argument will be totally worthless by November, when Florida finally disappears underneath the ocean waves, and it won't be seen again for another 1.5 billion years. And moving on, life will finally be detected on Mars. Until people point out that Elon Musk moving the headquarters of Twitter to Mars is not necessarily a sign of intelligent life. In the world of politics, a new political party will come to be, scaring the yoga pants off Marjorie Taylor Greene and the rest of her Republicans. The result will be a mass migration from the Republican Party into the new M-E-N-S-A, Mensa Party. Democrats, on the other hand, are still looking for a dictionary to look up the meaning of the word Mensa. And finally, in politics, on November 8th, Donald Trump will announce that he has won the election for president and will take office the following February. When it is pointed out to Donald Trump that this is not an election year, Donald Trump will sue calendar makers, claiming there's a conspiracy to hide the year 2024, to deny his ascension to his throne. And now, turning to the news of the weird alien, that's right, I said alien, aliens from Reticuli Reticulus will land outside Roswell, New Mexico. The aliens are led by a captain looking for his long lost wife who was last heard from right outside of Roswell. Unable to find her, he left with the next best thing, Angelina Jolie. Brad Pitt, on the other hand, will never make a movie ever again. He's too busy taking care of all their kids. And last but never least, the Minnesota Vikings will return to the Super Bowl, making it number five. And that's all I've gleaned from the predictions of Nostradamus for the year 2023. Happy New Year's, my friends. I'm really quite happy this year because this year I actually found some Patron. Last year, I couldn't find any, anywhere. Although the price really spiked, it's still well worth it. So, if you're a Patron tequila maker and would like to sponsor my YouTube channel, I would sure be open to starting a conversation with you. Mm. Ah. In the meantime... You know, I was thinking about Nostradamus, and I used to be such a huge, huge fan of his predictions. But as I aged, I figured it was all just bullshit, and I could do a lot better. Don't you think? Yeah, I do. Well, whatever. One more time, people. Merry, happy, happy. It's fucking, man, that's good stuff already hitting me. It's been, what, 30 seconds? <laughs> 
maybe it was that joint. Well, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, Happy New Year. And I hope it's a good year for all of you. Whether you like my channel, watch it or not. I'm out of here. Peace out.